So today it's raining as you can see. It's raining out there. But that's not gonna stop me. I'm out here researching in the North Philly section of Philadelphia right now. The so-called bad area, so-called bad area. I don't believe in such a thing. No area is bad. It's all on the people and how they want the area to be. If you're gonna wait and have somebody come fix your area, then you'll wait and they'll come fix your area. Or you're gonna get together, fix your own area, police your own people, do what you gotta do to get things better, to empower each other. If that's not done, we're all gonna have these stigmas of bad areas and sketchy places, so to speak. Yeah, I got the GPS working. Also, you know, using my own, my own, my own ways too. Sometimes I get to neighborhoods I'm not sure I don't really know, so I gotta punch it in the GPS just to double back and check. So right now I'm at the light. It's tedious sitting here. I want to see these properties. It's, uh, there's over 300 properties for every sale. So it's a lot of properties I got to go check out. You know, Try to get a good amount. Because I don't like to go to the auction and just bid blindly without seeing properties. That's stupid. That makes no sense. So I don't play those games. Actually go out there and go see these properties before I bid on them. I'm not playing Russian roulette with no properties now. I'm trying to make sure that the money is secure by not bidding on something that you can't even keep because it's trash, so to speak. I sold something on this block like two months ago. Nice little area. People want things around here. I got something on Chadwick that I sold to my New York buyer. He's in love with it. But I'm out here. Research day one for next week's auction. So I'm giving myself a whole week to research for three different days. I'm gonna get down and dirty, believe it, believe that. I gotta get behind these properties. You can't get inside, you're not allowed to go inside these properties. But I go outside. I look from outside. I look far out back. I do the best I can not to break the law. But, you know, I get to see from the outside at least and have an idea of what I'm facing. You know, when you bid inside unseen without seeing nothing, we call that going blind. That's that. That's that Stevie Wonder, you know. It's a big risk. I try not to do that. In the beginning, I did that one time. Didn't know any better. I'm like, hey, it's a property. If it's there, at least it's there. You know, I look on Google, I see it. <laughs> it's there. <laughs> That's not actually a fact. Some of these pictures on Google are 10, 15 years old. So you go out there thinking property's there. When you get there, you see a lot. And you pay 20, 30, 40,000 for a lot. Now you're stuck. What do you do then? That's why I'm out here researching, putting the work in. Work never stops. Uh, I got another four minutes before I get to my destination. So I won't bore you and continue this little feed of me driving. I just wanted you to, just, to get a, a picture of the driving for the research. 
researching part of going to bid on an auction property. Talk to y'all later.